Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Welcome, welcome, welcome for this session, the heart of the holy name. Uh, let me explain. Mm, during the time when there was a severe lockdown, we decided to present something on, to all of you that would never break, that would never change. Something uh, that is so sublime that it survives all the various movements of the material energy, the ups and downs, uh, and so on. And we decided that's the holy name, Krishna's uh, name representation in the world, which is totally identical with him. And so we completed a weekly uh, course based on the book, The Living Name. But afterwards, we thought, oh, the subject is so enlivening. It is so absolutely rewarding that uh, we must continue it in some ways. And then we developed this course, which we are now holding the heart of the Holy Name. It was not easy to find a title which would express what we want to present here. Mm. What we wanted to present is uh, a more advanced, a more in-depth course of developing uh, absorption and attraction uh, in and to the Holy Name. And the best way we thought we could uh, teach this is by following the two main guidebooks on chanting, that is Harinam Chintamani and Bhajan Rahasya. So we uh, developed this course which will go for quite some time. Uh, it will be held once a month at each last Sunday of the month. And uh, we are uh, going to go deep. We will have first a theoretical part where we present the uh, timeless teachings uh, uh, regarding the Holy Name. And then we will uh, practice in depth one uh, method that will bring us to the heart of the Holy Name. And uh, for the last half hour, we will deal with any questions which you have. So if you develop questions as you're listening to this, I recommend that you put it in the chat box and then the questions will be brought to me here by my uh, assistant team and I will try my best to answer everything to your full satisfaction. Uh, let me uh, start today with the last verse from Rupa Goswami's wonderful glorification of the holy name, the Krishna Namastakam. And uh, as we chant this, uh, I think we will have the best uh, approach to this subject. Uh, what you do is when you want blessings, you glorify. So we glorify the holy name with uh, verse uh, 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 8 today. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Madavi Noch Jivana Sudormi Niya Samadu Ripura Tvam Krishna Nama Kamang Spura Me Rasane Rasena Sada If you wish to chant along Narada Vinoj Jivana Sudorminiya Sama Duripura Tvam Krishna Nama Kamang Spura Me Rasane Rasena Sada O Krishna's name O enlivener of Narada Svina O Harinam whose overwhelming sweetness is like the concentrated juice of multitudes of waves of nectar. Oh, your s sweetness is concentrated like the juice of the waves of nectar. Kindly sport freely and lovingly on my tongue. Here, Rupa Goswami, the author, wants to say what is uh, in the heart of all bona fide chanters. I have absolutely no capacity to chant you on my own strength. Therefore, I request you to please appear on my tongue and reside there. This is the secret of chanting the holy name. Uh, you beg Krishna for a divine revelation, an appearance. The material tongue cannot produce uh, Krishna holy name by making a sound vibration uh, like any other. No, because this sound is not like any other sound. Uh, therefore the tongue uh, cannot really produce it. Uh, but when the holy name out of his own sweet will decides to appear on the tongue, yes, then he's there. I think from chanting, we all know this. There are moments when we chant on one level and all of a sudden it's as if a switch is flicked. The holy name seems to be so present that you do not ever can imagine to, to stop chanting. You are so much involved in the nectar and you afterwards think, what, what is that? What was that? I never had such an experience before, but now it seems that some grace has come to me. Mm. There are many holy names, uh, but uh, there's one holy name which is most dear to Krishna, one name by which he likes to be called. He expresses this to Arjuna by saying, Namami Mukhyatarang Nama Krishnakyam Me Parantapa. It's in the Padma Purana where he says, O oh Arjuna, 
the greatest name of mine amongst all other names is the name Krishna. <laughs> As uh, uh, you can understand, uh, that is why we like to give preference to the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, uh, where Krishna's name is there uh, uh, and where he is glorified together with Srimati Radha Rani. Uh, with this eighth birth, the Namashtakam is complete. In ordinary uh, glorifications, there's always at the end a ninth birth, which describes to you the auspicious results of chanting this. But here, this ninth verse is omitted because the Fala Shruti, the result of uh, chanting this Ashtakam, is already implied in previous verses. For instance, uh, in verse 2, uh, it is described that chanting the holy name destroys all sins. In verse 3, it is described that a person who lacks proper vision in his or her life will get direction and guidance by the holy name from within how to move on. And in verse 4, it is explained how all karma, including the already manifested parapta karma, our physical body and its uh, various uh, karmic problems, <laughs> how all uh, uh, karma uh, is destroyed by chanting. So verse uh, 6 and 7 uh, has focused on how the offenses which we do, like the Nam Aparada, are all nullified uh, by just chanting. When you make offenses, against the holy name, continue to chant and the offenses will eventually go as your attraction to Krishna increases. Uh, this uh, uh, particular prayer, Rupa Goswami's Namashtakam, is the treasure of all those who chant the holy name because it motivates them like no other uh, uh, ashtakam or hymn or stotram and educates them about the wonderful glories of the holy name. There was once a, ver a village in Bengal which was so dear Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because all the residents in this village were pure devotees. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made some statements about the residents in this village which are truly remarkable. I would like to read to you uh, uh, one. He says, mm, uh, to say nothing of you. He was speaking to two devotees, Ramananda Vasu and Satyaraj Khan. To say nothing of you. Even a dog who lives in your village is very dear to me. What then to speak of others? <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, when he goes into this particular village, Kulinagram, uh, uh, embraces everyone, <laughs> including the dog, because it's a blessed village. Mm, and uh, uh, for, he liked everyone there. Now, for someone whom you like very much, so much that you like even that town 
and, and appreciate the animals like the storks who have uh, nests on the roof uh, and so on. For people whom you love so much, you want to give them the highest gift. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did this. Once it so happened that two residents of this village, Ramananda Vasu and Satyaraj Khan, approached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and said, My Lord, we are ordinary people. We are engaged in earning a living and maintaining a family. We do not know very clearly what is the best way for us to advance in our spiritual life. I, we request you therefore sincerely to tell us the path. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, without cessation, continue chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna. And whenever possible, serve him and his devotees, the Vaishnavas. And then Mahaprabhu uh, said, uh, uh, what are the results uh, of chanting? Mm, I'm looking for the verse. Ah, here it is. He says, there are three results when you chant. Anusanga fale kare samsarina chaya chitta akashya karaya Krishna premodhaya. By chanting uh, the holy name of Lord, the Lord, one first dissolves his entanglement in material activities. After this, and as one continues to chant, one feels very attracted to Krishna. And finally, prema unhoya, love of Krishna is awakened in the heart and rises very much like the sun in the morning rises. Three results. I remember in my life, mm, when I started to chant, I had already the feelings that this material uh, life cannot fulfill its promises. I had some experiences of uh, the frustrating aspects of material uh, existence. But it seemed to me impossible to to get out of it. Schools, friendships, my own aspirations for material enjoyment, uh, pressure and expectations of the family, all this kept me in uh, a lockdown in material uh, life. I did not see any possibilities. But I started to chant, and as I chanted, one door after the other opened. I could leave all the entanglements which were pulling me down. And as I have continued to chant uh, the holy name in all earnestness, I find myself interested in Krishna, I want to hear more about him. I want to read uh, uh, about him uh, from uh, the authorized sources. The moment I'm reading Gopal Champu by Jiva Goswami. And in this way, uh, a great desire uh, has come to hear more about Krishna. I'm still waiting for the sunrise of the holy name. Um, but already two of the promises of this verse have been fulfilled. Uh, I have become disentangled. Uh, it almost seemed hopeless for me. 
and I'm developed, I have developed some attraction. So I have no reason to doubt that the third promise that I will develop one day a uh, uh, love of Krishna will also come. I rest my faith in this particular verse which we have read. It is uh, in Madhya Lila chapter 15, text 109. Mm, mm, mm. Rupa Goswami, in his very uh, famous book, mm, Upadeshamrita, the nectar of instruction, gives us one very important instruction. And my assistant Gorgovinda, the cameraman, will get me the book. It's a ring binder from the table. I was reading this this morning. And um, there, Rupa Goswami gives an, S, an, an advice which he considers the essence of all other advices. It is a very important advice because we as conditioned souls who have the goal to uh, come into our original constitutional position as pure lovers of Krishna and uh, who desire to associate with the Lord again, uh, need good advice to do this. So he says, here's one advice, which is the essence from all other advices, which you must do to reach your spiritual goal. Those who like to chant this verse along with me, Upadeshamrita text 8, uh, you can do so. I will chant at one time, one line alone, and then we will chant it, uh, the whole verse together. Tanna Marupa Charita Di Sukir Tananu Tanna Marupa Charita di Sukirtananu Smrit Yokramena Rasana Manasi Niyoja Tishtan Braje Tatanuragi Jananugami Kalam Nayet Akilamit Yupadesha Saram. Beautiful. Most beautiful. So much guidance we can hear from this. He says the essence of all advice. That means if you do nothing else, then you are fine by following the essence. The essence of all advice is that one should utilize one's full time, 24 hours a day, in nicely chanting and remembering the Lord's divine name, transcendent the form, qualities and eternal pastimes, thereby gradually engaging one's tongue and mind. In this way, one should reside in Braj, Goloka Vrindavan Dham, and serve Krishna under the guidance of his dear devotees. One should follow in the footsteps of the Lord's beloved devotees 
who are deeply attached to his devotional service. So here, Rupa Goswami talks of a progression. One should first engage his body, that means the tongue, in chanting the holy name and the qualities of Krishna. But then one should progress from there and also engage one's mind. That is why we uh, have spoken um, or written a book called The Living Name, A Guide to Chanting with Absorption. The mind must be also engaged. It should not just be a vocal activity. You should be present-minded, not absent-minded as you chant. Then how should one live and where should one live? One has this goal to uh, come into one's original uh, true life. Well, one should search out Brindavan Dam. There one should follow the great devotees, the way they uh, uh, live their lives. And one should also make oneself familiar with the dear associates of Krishna. They are called Ragatmika Bhaktas, the devotees whose heart is full with rag, deep, deep, deep attachment to Krishna. One should follow their ways. How do they do things? And this makes one qualified to go Krishna, to Krishna. It is said, just like we become expert to live in the ways of the material society by following our friends and the people who live a material life in this society. We do what they do. Uh, and in this way, we become members of ordinary societies. This learning process starts when you are a baby. Uh, you begin to follow things, you learn the language, you learn the civilization, the culture, all the things that in some cases need to be unlearned. <laughs> you all learn them and in this way you become a member of material society. So just like you do this, you have to follow the members of the spiritual society. Even in baby steps, you have to learn to sing their songs, you have to learn to do what they do, that is, engage in devotional service for Krishna. And in this way, you will slowly, more and more, <laughs> like a baby who learns, uh, uh, learn the ways of the spiritual world. And in this way, become a fit member of this spiritual domain. So what we will learn in this course is um, we will learn to first engage our body and our mind in nicely chanting the holy name because with the help of the holy name all the things we need to know, <laughs> all the skills which are lacking at the present moment will be given to us as divine gifts as the earlier verse which Mahaprabhu had, stayed, had said promised us we will become free from entanglement in the materialistic society and we will develop attachment to Krishna and then pure love, a pure love for Krishna by the blessings of the Holy Name. That is our investment. So, my dear devotees, my dear friends and my dear skeptics, we can now start. For your spiritual journey, 
uh, with the holy name you need as the first step the first investment the very first uh, 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 step out of the door faith shraddha without faith there will be no surrender to Krishna without faith there will be no full commitment to the holy name without faith you will not be able to sustain an often mechanical practice therefore uh, the Harinam Chintamani starts with establishing the truth and the inconceivable glories of the holy name so that we will uh, obtain uh, faith Mm. There is a wonderful verse which we have prepared for you. It's the Harinam Chintamani 2.63 which tells us about the absolute necessity for strong faith in the Holy Name. I will read it to you in English. Anyone who is undeviating faith takes shelter of chanting Lord Krishna's holy name knowing that chanting is the Yuga Dharma or the religion for this age attains uh, everything so anyone who with undeviating faith takes shelter of chanting Lord Krishna's holy name, knowing that chanting is the Yuga Dharma or the religion for this age, attains everything. Undeviating faith. How do we, uh, what is the need for undeviating faith? Or let us say, what does this faith do? Mm. Srila Vyasadev says that only Faith gives you virya. Virya means vigor or an energetic endeavor to pursue the practices of bhakti. Your strength, in other words, is your faith. Your weakness lies in a weak faith. Your strength in devotional service lies in a strong faith. Because this strength, inner strength, will give birth to smriti on undisturbed mind your mind that is can remember the tenets or the truths of the scriptures even in disturbing situations ah will remember the right thing and motivate you in the right direction so virya strength gives birth to smriti an undisturbed mind uh, where one keeps the goal and mind at all times and this undisturbed mind this remembrance of the goal in all circumstances come oh hell or high water they say <laughs> uh, this undisturbed mind this smriti will actually give you uh, what is called Nam Samadhi, the firm absorption or the trance even, the Samadhi in the Holy Name. So having said all this, uh, I want to say, tell you the faith which you need uh, uh, to strengthen can be strengthened in the association of devotees. Have you ever eaten a papaya? It's a beautiful fruit which is very good for the stomach and the seeds of papaya can help you to have a digestion uh, fire uh, which is very uh, satisfactory. The papaya, uh, when a papaya is green and you want to mature it, 
you put it amongst the yellow papayas, the mature papayas, and then very quickly, in the association of the mature or yellow papayas, your green papaya matures also. The same thing happens with your faith. When you have a green faith, <laughs> that is a weak faith, you do need to go into the association of Vaishnavas who have a very, very strong faith. And therefore, I absolutely recommend to you to read the outpourings of faith uh, of the Vaishnavas. Read books like Harinam Chintamani, where the, you hear the recorded discussion between Mahaprabhu and Haridas Thakur. Strengthen your faith by being with strong chanters. Strengthen your faith by listening to lectures. This is one of the blessings of the internet. Uh, mm, there are very first class lectures available on the internet. You can go to Iskon Desire Tree and you will find all the heart desires. Mm. This associating with devotees is a, a very strong faith builder. Mm. Philosophy builds the faith. People, that is, who live by the philosophy, build the strengths and practice, practice, practice builds your strengths and faith. When you chant more, your faith gets more. Because you see with your own eyes the results in your life. You see when you chant properly that mm, your life changes for the better. And now without uh, talking much more on this, uh, I want to go to you right to the heart of the Holy Name uh, by practicing a very specific and very dear method of chanting, which has been revealed by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, who chanted for many years uh, 196 rounds of the Holy Name in Sridam Mayapur. Huh? That, will, that practice that he himself did uh, will help you to become a very, very yellowish, mature, uh, I don't want to say papaya, uh, mature chanter. Because the practice will convince you, wow, this is uh, something which I have overlooked maybe up till now. Uh, dear participants, I request you oops, to sit straight. Find yourself either a seat on a chair or on the floor. If you have your bead bag with you, that is good. If you don't have it, that is not a problem at all. Because what we will do is we will uh, learn a new method which has been described by Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He says, one achieves perfection in chanting the mantra when one keeps the vibrated sound within his heart 
and controls the materially attached sound. We may ask ourselves, well, how do I keep the vibrated sound in the heart? Let me ask a question. How do I keep anything in the heart? I think about it. With some feeling. I may, for instance, now in my heart, think of a dear friend in Australia. And yes, I appreciate this friend of mine very much and I can now, all of a sudden, an image comes or a remembrance of him. You keep someone in the heart by thinking of them with some feeling, affection, gratitude, or even hatred. Yes, when you hate someone very much, it's a strong feeling, you will have that person also in the heart. Now, we don't think of Krishna with hatred. Uh, we think of him with uh, some affection. And the second thing is, uh, we are here encouraged uh, to control the materially attached mind. That means when the mind goes to some object outside, some object or person of the material world, we pull it back. So, we will do this now. Mm. First, sit tall, the spine erect. Center yourself. By arriving with your thoughts in the present moment. The easiest way is to link your mind with your breath. In other words, breathe in and out and be conscious of your breathing. When you breathe in, tell yourself, breathe in. When you breathe out, tell yourself, breathe out. Stay with your breath. Deep inhalations, deep exhalation. Please, if you have not done so already, close your eyes. And bring your attention now to the innermost core of your heart. And you breathe in, breathe into the heart space. And breathe out by relaxing yourself. Focus on your heart. Fully arrive and be present in your heart. It is deep 
within our hearts where we as the actual self reside and where the Lord of the heart is there. If you like, you may offer this prayer. My dear Lord Krishna, although I have forgotten you for so many long years in this material world, today I'm turning to you. I wish to offer this chanting to you for your pleasure. Please accept me. Please engage me in your service. Please accept me. Please engage me in your service. I request you now to chant along with me and feel the sound vibration in your heart area. Keep it there. Whenever the mind wanders to any outside object, just bring it back to the heart space and keep the vibration there. Let us start with the Panchatattva Mantra. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Garadhara Shri Vashadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Continue, please. I will give you some instructions, but continue. Bring your attention to the heart space. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Feel the vibration in your heart as you chant. Keep the vibration of the holy name in your heart. 
continue. Fine. Attention goes to the heart and then keep the vibration in the heart. Hey Rama, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Keep on chanting, please. Do not stop. The attention goes to the heart and keep the sound in the heart. You will be able to feel the sound in the heart if you bring your attention there while you chant the holy name. It will be a vibration subtle vibration in the heart. Continue. When your mind wanders as it will and come out of the heart and go somewhere else as it wills, do not despair or be upset just bring the mind back into the heart area. <clears throat> Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Now we will chant on our own speed. Just for a few mantras. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Wonderful. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Mm. I will request the assistant at the computer room mm, to put now uh, the practice into three steps in the chat and you can then practice it over the week. What was this all about? It's really a very devotional practice. Um, uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati 
uh, in his own words, practices. He says, one achieves perfection in chanting the mantra when one keeps the vibrated sound within his heart and controls the materially attached mind. You can find this quotation in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, Matya Lila, the 23rd chapter, verse 76. Chaitanya Bhagavat, not Chaitanya Charitamrita, Chaitanya Bhagavat by Vrindavan Das Thakur. Mm. So, uh, 23.76. Matya 23.76. It's very simple. Uh, you first turn to Krishna. That's absolutely important. Mm. Uh, and uh, then uh, you uh, mm, mm, uh, do, after you have done this, uh, you, cha you, you can say a prayer if you wish, if it helps you to arrive more in your heart, like, my dear Lord Krishna, though I have forgotten you for so many long years in the material world, today I'm turning to you. That's the first step, to turn to Krishna in your heart. And then you offer to him, this is the second step, the chanting of the mantra. That's your bhakti, devotional service. It means you do something with devotional feelings, not devotional service. It's your devotional offering to Krishna. And then the last step, this is number three, you just uh, be a little bit honest, authentic, careful, and your mind goes either into no body's land, that's when you go into the dull mood, or if you think of something, your new computer and his, his volume program in the computer, or whatever you think, then you just, for the time of chanting, bring it back to the chanting. And my dear People, this simple three steps will bring you to entirely different dimensions and experiences with the Holy Name. Good. Now I will make some a few announcements because I'm informed that some of uh, uh, you are in the hurry sometimes, so you need to hear the announcement first, then I will come to the questions and answers. I request your absolutely uh, 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 and attention. First of all, I need to apologize. Uh, I know our internet is village internet here, so we had some minor problems. Uh, but we are uh, uploading this very video on YouTube. Please find uh, the link in the comments. Huh? You can see, see the whole thing again and uh, go deeper into it. Then the next announcement is join our next Heart of the Holy Name online seminar on Sunday, August 30th. Huh? always the last Sunday of the month. So the next is August 30th. Please stay tuned in uh, and watch for announcements, but um, it will be same time, same place. Important now. This is now really a change. It is very important. The next Heart of the Holy Name seminar will be streamed in the Facebook group Deepening Bhakti with Sachinandan Swami. We have so much online presence that we need to uh, put all the things into their uh, uh, specific categories. Like there's something for new people and this is obviously for a more advanced uh, uh, 
uh, people who are already practicing bhakti. It's a devotee uh, seminar and uh, so we put all this context, context for uh, content for uh, for those who practice bhakti into the group deepening bhakti. Huh? To go deeper with Sachinanda Swami. Please become a member there so that you can see the live stream. The link to the group should be shown in the comments sections. I see a smiley here. Uh, and, uh, uh, we are trying our best uh, to put this there. So you, you please become a member of this Deepening Bhakti with Facebook, uh, with Sachinanda Swami. You can see everything, of course, for free and, uh, and mm, there. No? Third announcement. We also have recorded 30 brief Japa inspirations, which you can hear before you start your chanting practice. They are motivation boosts, so to say. They are between three and five minutes long only. And you can access these recorded inspirations through the SoundCloud link, which is posted in your comments. Uh, those of us who are not so expert with computer, the, the link to the Japa inspiration should say www.soundcloud.com slash Sachinandan Swami. Yes. The idea behind these records is to offer you some inspiration and guidance for your daily Japa practice. Fourth announcement. Ooh, so many. There are two online courses that I'm giving at the moment and which you can see on Facebook. First is Bhakti Essential, Bhakti Essentials. It's a course each Tuesday at 8 p.m. Uh, Central European time. It's a very inspiring course, at least that's the feedback which we get, for those who are new on the Bhakti path but also for those who would like to refresh and put fundaments in their understanding and philosophy and practice of bhakti. So please tell your friends and your contacts that, um, uh, who have maybe an interest to go and explore or discover bhakti. So this is the Bhakti Essential Course each Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central European time. Second online course, which is going on, is a life in Bhakti each Saturday, 3 p.m. Central European time. This is a, a course um, which has been organized by the devotees from the Bhakti Center in New York City and is co-organized by four big yatras, the New York City Brooklyn Temple, New York, no, New Jersey Tovaco, and New Jersey Central Temples, and then the Gita Nagari Farm. So these are the two online courses. There was a lot of announcement. So I'm finished with this. Uh, please watch the announcements for further details. Now we can come to the questions. Wonderful. Oh, we still have time. The first question. We hear so many different instructions to follow in Krishna consciousness or in relationship to chanting. Is there one instruction in relationship to chanting that you would advise following which we will surely progress on our bhakti journey. Wonderful questions. Yes. Many of us have, uh, uh, let me say, um, uh, thought so much is going on. Now where should I put my emphasis on that one thing? If you want to place an emphasis on anything, 
and you wish to just concentrate on that one thing, you have to arrive at the essence, the concentrated form of it. Mm, uh, the essence, the principal essence of Krishna consciousness is to always remember Krishna and never forget him. Finished. You are done. If you can always remember Krishna and never forget him, that's the absolute essence. Everything else, that is what the Padma Purana says, it's, and it's often quoted by Prabhupada, is serving this one principle, this essence. Now, what is the, now we have to ask the question, so what is the best way I, in which I can always remember Krishna, never forget him? Here's a little bit a problem Our, to follow this advice, because the impure mind, the material mind, will not remember Krishna. It will remember anything else but Krishna. It will have material impressions which will look for material counterparts. I may have an impression at the moment that, for instance, what is it? Yes, I like to ride on a bicycle as a little sport, uh, sport activity which gets the circulation uh, going and keeps me fit. So I may think of bicycles now. Is my bicycle okay to go out? <laughs> What occupies your mind, that is what with, with which the mind will engage itself. What is an impression in their mind that will engage itself with? And you can't remember always Krishna if you have a material mind which is full of material impressions. So we need to purify the material mind and bring, bring Krishna in the mind. And then we can always be with Krishna. And that's the simple process of chanting. Now, how should we chant? If you want to have one essential principle for your bhakti journey, then, and if you are not an absolute newcomer to bhakti, already practicing since a month or, or so, then here is a very good point. Bhakti, according to Rupa Goswami's uh, definition, means it is uh, uh, for Krishna, it must be done with a favorable feeling. There's some feeling there. And it must be done with body and mind and voice. No? That is a bhakti. So I would say in a simple language, simple way, the essence of essential practice is for someone who wants to chant with Bhakti, and who's tired of mechanic chanting, where there is no taste in the heart, is go to your heart, say a prayer to Lord Krishna, and then offer him your chanting um, uh, uh, in a very simple, straightforward way, the way we have done it today. I can see you have heard a lot now and you think I will repeat it for you to just be very clear. Turn to Krishna. It's for Krishna. The easiest way is to just sit down and it's for you Krishna. Or say a prayer. Then chant his holy name as a loving offering. It's just for you. I'm glorifying you, my Lord. And in this way, your chanting becomes imbued with bhakti and stops being mechanically and uh, being very difficult to opt. A mechanical practice, how long can you go on chanting material mechanically? It's dry, it's tasteless. Hare Krishna. Good. Now the second question. It seems that sometimes we have the mercy and we are able to chant with good attention and our taste increases. 
how can we obtain more of such mercy? The best way to obtain more mercy is to show Krishna that you really want it and then he will give it to you. There's a wonderful part in the prayers of the personified Vedas where um, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur talks about this principle of trying your best and when you try your best, Krishna gives you the mercy. He gives this uh, example in relationship to meditation. A devotee has heard he should meditate about Krishna and he tries now to meditate about Krishna as he sits down, his hand with the Jnana Mudra, he is under a tree, he is sitting in, the, in an asan, just like the Gopal Tapani Upanishad describes. And he is trying his best to meditate about Krishna. So Krishna thinks, my devotee tries his best to meditate about me, but he can't even meditate about my radiant effulgence that which comes from me, the Brahman. His mind is too unsteady. And he thinks he can now meditate about my form from which everything comes. <laughs> he's, he's trying, childlike. But then Krishna thinks, but he is trying. He's trying. So therefore, in his heart, in the lake of his heart, Waves come, waves of mercy, and the waves spill over his heart and come to the devotee. In simple language, just try your best and leave the rest up to Krishna. He will certainly reciprocate. He wants more than you that you come to him. So please, Try your best. There is a third question here. Um, I have also a question here. Uh, but if you would like to have, uh, if you have other questions, you can type them in into the comments now. They will be given to me. Mm -hmm. How do we surrender to chanting as a practice? How do we make it our primary and most dear spiritual practice? You are a wonderful audience. I thank you so very much. My dear devotees, I know the ther theoretical, I know the answer, but I cannot yet follow it because I'm still a very fallen soul. But to surrender to the practice of chanting means to do something which Draupadi did. When Draupadi saw that there was no other way for her to keep her dignity as a woman. Uh, she surrendered entirely to singing Krishna's name. I think you all know, uh, when Draupadi came with her husbands to the um, arena where the gambling match took place. She was lost in the gambling match and Duryodhana, who won her, wanted to humiliate her by, uh, 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 by, by having her disrobed. It's so bad, I, it just doesn't want to come over my t tongue. And then afterwards, he wanted her 
to sit on his lap. It, it was a sexual abusive behavior, and that wanted was wanted um, that he wanted to do in the public assembly. So, a strong warrior, Dushasan, who had a lot of power, started to take the zari down and. She tried to keep it, but it was hopeless. Dushasan was too strong. So in the end, when she did not receive any help from anyone in the sabha, in the assembly, she threw up her hands in a gesture of uh, total surrender and uh, called out, Hey Govinda, Hey Janadan, Hey Mukunda. And then Krishna immediately came to her rescue by supplying from his hand an unlimited amount of sari. Yes, this is surrender to the holy name. Uh, absolute surrender, and it is said, one surrenders uh, usually when one sees there is no other way uh, in life than this. But. Uh, I also have still uh, uh, the illusion that I can do things on my own. I can do my service and live my life. And um, I uh, still look for absolute surrender to the Holy Name. What I do to practice this surrender is I chant more rounds. And I've seen this. Uh, uh, with many of my God brothers, they chant more uh, rounds or chant also more kirtans. I also try to sing throughout the day. There's nothing better than going through your life singing. So I'm singing different melodies, I'm learning different melodies, and in this way I hope to always sing. Uh, it must be difficult to live with someone like me because I sing so loud. Uh, uh, but uh, this is what I'm trying to, uh, to do, to surrender more and more. Thank you for your very sincere question. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, would love to hear what is the verse meter of the last beautiful verse of Sri Namashtakam. Yes, it's the, uh, uh, the translation of this, I only know it in English, is a chaste lady. <laughs> the, uh, I can read to you the Sanskrit. Mm -mm. But yes, I also like it very, very much. It's Arya, the verse meter, uh, 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 two long A's, Arya, it's a feminine name denoting a chaste lady. Um, many times I want to increase my rounds above 16 rounds, but it becomes difficult to do as we are giving many services initially from the devotees as they say that first do services, then when purified in due course of time, increase your rounds in later years. What is your take on this, Maharaj? Mm. Prabhupada said 16 rounds should be chanted as a minimum. And if you are in a situation where your services are required in the temple. I think uh, you should do your services. But what you can do is increase the quality of your rounds. One very good round is really worth uh, many distracted rounds. So go and do the qualities because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu needs wonderful devotees like you to spread his movement in the Western world. Mm. This would be my answer to you. And uh, when there, there will be some time, maybe not every day, but once a, a week maybe, where you can maybe uh, go earlier to bed, 
rise earlier and chant in the morning hours. There are always ways where you can find uh, uh, some extra time, but, but sleep enough. The next question. Just on the part when sometimes we have negative feelings which arise in the heart. My question is sometimes we find ourselves in certain situations in the community where we feel hurt, we get discouraged. And there come days when we feel negative emotions in the heart and don't feel the love and devotion we used to perform certain services, even chanting anymore. We are conscious, we are being mechanical or doing because we have to do, but we can't stop ourselves. Should we keep tolerating the situations, even if it is affecting us for some months now, or is it more important to concentrate and work on ourselves and our chantings, even if this involves giving up certain services associations in the community. This was a long question. Uh, let me try to summarize it so that we can get a better hold on it. When we find ourselves overwhelmed by negative emotions, at that time we know that our bhakti will be weakened. All this negativity will pull us down. So uh, what we need to do is we need to counteract uh, this uh, uh, downward leading spiral of negative emotions by other thoughts. I know it was a long, long word, the downward leading spiral of negative emotions. What does this mean? When you start with a negative emotion here, you go almost in a spiraling whirlpool, a downward spiraling whirlpool of negative emotions. One negative emotion will pull another negative emotions and that will bring another negative emotions until you are all dark in your mind. Uh, so what you can do is you have to fill your mind with positive emotions. The best way to do that is to read and to speak with someone about the subjects which has induced you. It's called Shravanam, <laughs> you hear, and then you do Kirtanam, you speak or you use your vocal cord to say it. And then you will have a good, let me say, I see a good uh, uh, rapport with someone and that uh, good relationships with others helps us to become immune from the effects of bad relationships. No? So uh, you need to counteract bad feelings and bad thoughts with good thoughts. And that happens by reading and sharing what you read and creating a beautiful atmosphere. Now, if there are some situations which constantly pull you down, you may have to speak with someone local who knows the situation uh, to see if there can be an adjustment so that it's not so difficult. But ultimately, uh, spiritual life means to be strong even in the eye of the storm. <laughs> uh, that, uh, of course, takes some practice. We are coming quickly to the end. Uh, here is 
uh, mm, uh, uh, last questions, how are we supposed to see the sacred space in the heart while we chant? Do we have to visualize it or does it come in our mind on its own by the mercy of the holy name? The sacred space is not a space like this room, which has four walls, windows, and some furniture in it, or some things in it. The sacred space, you can see it as a, a consciousness, a level of consciousness. Uh, it's a consciousness in which you are protected uh, like uh, as if you are in a, uh, in a uh, virtual space, in, in, a, in a real space. Um, but it is really a level of consciousness. Prabhupada would refer to it as the platform of Krishna, as a platform or the level of Krishna consciousness and uh, so on. It's uh, something in which a consciousness in which you feel protected, sheltered, and uh, together with the most beloved. I thank you very much for your wonderful questions. I'm really awed by your questions. I know there are some more, but um, I am very, very honored and very enthusiastic. Please, let us continue to build up the Sangha of enthusiastic chanters. And please be so kind to practice what you have learned today, uh, the um, uh, uh, statement of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Uh, I think you remember it. Um, who says so many questions lying here? Here it is. You will, uh, you will achieve perfection in chanting the mantra when you keep the vibrated sound within the heart and you will bring the materially attached mind back. To keep that sound in the heart, turn to Krishna. I'm so delighted. Ah. <laughs> This, my dear uh, listeners, is my favorite subject. I do know from scriptures, from what Srila Prabhupada said to me, uh, in uh, what I have seen him, from his own life, I mean, his examples, I know that the greatest treasure uh, is the chanting of the Holy Name. And to work on that, to bring it to perfection, is our first and foremost uh, work. And from there, everything else comes. It's simple. That's the one thing you improve and the rest of your life will be improved. I thank you very much and wish you a wonderful next month. And maybe we see each other on other online courses. Um, which you will find on the Facebook. Uh, all the best for you. Have a wonderful day and Hare Krishna.